Yeah, the quicker I hear the harmonic, the earlier I know that they can relax the finger. Then I ask them to do the same thing, except release the pressure only as far as it takes to keep the string at the fingerboard. So that's not anything I can see anymore, but it's something that they can feel. Then they have to measure how much pressure do I actually need to hold the string down, and it's very little. Yeah. Then I tell them that's also important to learn early on. So this is the pressure I need, and let's call it 200 grams. Um, I don't know what it is. Um, I said, okay, you can play piano. If you play fortissimo with the bow, it doesn't mean that the left hand has to change any. The uh, left hand has absolutely no uh, purpose in playing, in changing the sound. Um, you can play, without, there is a beautiful hi fat video, it would take too long to pull that up. On YouTube, put in a hi fat scherzo tarantelle. There's a slow motion section where he plays scherzo tarantelle very slowly. I mean, there's only the picture because the piece, of course, goes very fast. But And the camera comes from this angle, and you can see that he is not pushing the string all the way down. Yeah, so the hand looks soft as butter, and it looks totally relaxed in that slow motion video, and you can really tell that he's not pressing the strings all the way down, and so the left hand pressure has nothing to do with dynamics. That is a difficult thing for anybody to practice. I think we need to practice it all the time. Um, we call it separation of pressures, that if I want to make a big sound, I need pressure in the right hand, sometimes, 